Hello everyone, my name is Irving Alvarez and tonight I'll be trying to just, uh, show you what a person with a disability uh, deals with on a daily basis. Um, I will be uh, showing the barriers in a home, in a store, and in a recreational facility. And I will also be showing the accommodations that uh, homes, stores, and the same the aforementioned recreational facilities have done to satisfy the ADA, ADA, rule, ADA guidelines and make it easier uh, to, for people with disabilities to live, uh, to access their facilities uh, comfortably. So at this very instance, I'll be attempting to open my house gate, um, just using upper body. Now I will be attempting to overcome this barrier, uh, this rating that this uh, fence has. Ooh. So this is the entrance to my house. Um, it's uh, not possible for me to go to the house without the assistance of someone or without uh, the implementation of a ramp due to the three steps that are here. I'm going into the kitchen area. because of the walls. There's another barrier right here. I was able to overcome the barrier after multiple tries. And this is the kitchen area. Anything within my arms reaches, this area is fine. The microwave is probably the, the most difficult thing here and the one that I use the most. And putting a plate will be tough, but taking out the plate will be tough. And the cabinets up there definitely wouldn't be able to get any of the cups, plates, everything would have to be within this area for me to be able to reach. So now I will be attempting to enter my room and this is a barrier to enter my room. As you can see, it's quite a drop which I wouldn't be able to. So I'm here at Bird Bowl, trying to try some pool. Uh, I'll be showing you the difficulties. So after playing pool, there were three major uh, disadvantages that I, that I had. One was with the cue stick, it would constantly hit the back of the wheelchair. Two was when the ball was at a distance, I wouldn't be able to get enough power behind the cue ball. And three was the moving around around a table. It's definitely the, the biggest obstacle for a person with a disability. Uh, the only advantage was, if there, if any, was the, uh, the table was at eye level. There are certain areas in the store where everything is within reach. For example, this telescope, this uh, sound system, or this uh, little ball of science is all within reach. As curious, in the juice section, I wasn't able to reach uh, the juice. But in this section over here, for example, the, the Christmas balls, I will need the assistance of an employee to get that. So most of these stores uh, have uh, followed the ADA guidelines of a wheelchair designation parking spot. 
As you can see, there's one here. There's about two more, two more, all within the stores nearby. And there's this ramp accessible uh, site for people on wheelchairs. Uh, there are a lot of dis disadvantages to being in a wheelchair. Um, one is uh, uh, not reaching uh, places that are above uh, five, six feet. Another one will be needing the assistance of people to for those uh, to reach those places and to get into places that have barriers. For example, my well, my home.